concepts from northern Chinese martial arts that differentiate it from other things like taekwondo, karate, judo, mixed martial arts is the uh, technique of kao, K-A-O, which means actually to uh, lean against something one way or another, right, if you look it up in the dictionary. Of course, in Chinese martial arts, we have our own lingo about everything, so the dictionary virtually means nothing when you're trying to find out what certain terms mean in Chinese martial arts. So in Chinese martial arts, kao means a shoulder strike. So the shoulder strike can be a forward shoulder strike or directly sideways or with the back of the shoulder, okay? So those three are the main ones, and they do not appear in any other styles of martial arts other than Northern Chinese martial arts, okay? So, and in Northern Chinese martial arts, we have specific techniques to counteract the cow because we know it's a, it's a main technique that is utilized all the time. But in Taekwondo and Judo and mixed martial arts, uh, karate, they don't have these things, boxing either, right? So the, the cow is like the Spanish Inquisition of martial arts techniques to them. So they don't have an answer for it. And it's very surprising because you can be here and the cow can just come out of nowhere any time, right? And lead to other things, right? So cow is a very, very important technique in Chinese martial arts, the shoulder strike. Uh, we have all kinds of, of techniques, like I said, for counteracting the uh, shoulder strike. And it's utilized when people try to get around to your side door many times, right, to just knock them back out of the way, right? So this is how we use the shoulder strike in Northern Chinese martial arts.